launch trajectory and countdown net. Pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Thanks for tuning in to today's Starlink webcast. Falcon 9 is set to deliver another 51 Starlink satellites to orbit from Vandenberg Space Force Base's Pad 4 East in California. And today's mission marks SpaceX's 30th launch of the year and 229th overall mission to date. And hello everyone, my name is Chris Rhodes and I am a structures engineer here at SpaceX. At T minus four minutes and 40 seconds, the teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or spacecraft. Weather is looking good and the range is also ready to support liftoff time of 1.09 p.m. Pacific time. As we roll into the month of May, we wanted to give a shout out to all the Asian American and Pacific Islanders, or AAPI, for all of their past and continuing contributions around the world. We hope you're all able to take some time to recognize, celebrate, and learn more about your AAPI friends and neighbors this month. Here at SpaceX, we believe that in order to achieve our goals of making humanity multiplanetary, we need to create an environment with teammates from a diverse set of backgrounds with varying perspectives and mindsets, where everyone can work in a welcoming environment where all voices are equally heard. And today's launch and the rocket on your screen could not have been possible without such a team. At T minus three minutes and 50 seconds, the clamp arms have fully opened beneath the second stage. And as you can see on your screen, the strong back has began retracting away from the vehicle in preparation for takeoff. As we head into the last few minutes of our countdown, it's worth noting that there is a chance we may lose coverage during today's mission. And if we lose views and telemetry, we'll likely have to end the webcast a little bit early, but we're crossing our fingers that all goes well. And we are currently waiting for stage one lock load completion, which will wrap up in about 20 seconds. Stage one lock load complete. At T minus three minutes, Falcon 9's first stage is now fully loaded with RP-1 and liquid oxygen. And we're now waiting for completion of locks loading on the second stage about 50 seconds from now. And once that's complete, that will wrap up propellant loading on the vehicle. And the white clouds that you see circling around Falcon are completely nominal and the result of our super chilled liquid oxygen coming into contact with the relatively warm ambient air at the launch site turning the liquid oxygen back to its gaseous state. And again, we're waiting for stage two lock load completion, which will wrap up at T minus two minutes. Stage two, lock flow complete. Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. And it might be worth noting that we may not get certain views from our second stage camera today after takeoff, but we'll plan to show as many views as we possibly can. And the booster you see on your screen is flying for its third time today, having previously supported the Space Development Agency's Trans Zero mission and one Starlink mission. And after takeoff, the booster will land on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. We are currently waiting for Falcon 9 to go into startup at T minus one minute.
Falcon 9 is in startup. And we just heard that Falcon 9 is now in startup, running on its own internal power. LD is go for launch. And the launch director has given us the final go to proceed for launch. Let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 51 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. And lift off of Starlink. Go Starlink, go Falcon. Vehicle is pitching downrange. The chamber pressure is normal. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4 East at 1.09 p.m. Pacific Time. Power and telemetry are nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And as you just heard, Falcon 9 is now supersonic, meaning that it is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And you just heard the call out for Max Q, and this means that the vehicle is currently experiencing the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere that it will see during its flight today. And we are about one minute away from a series of events being Miko, Miko Stage Separation, SES-1, and Fairing Separation. Miko stands for Main Engine Cutoff, which is when all nine Merlin engines will shut down in preparation for stage separation. And during that point, pneumatic pushers will separate the first and second stages, and the first stage will begin its journey back to Earth, while the second stage will light its Merlin vacuum engine, making second engine start one to propel our Starlink satellites to their planned orbits. And shortly after, the fairing halves will separate and fall away from the vehicle to later be recovered. And let's keep an eye out for these events happening in pretty quick succession, about 15 seconds from now. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Fairing separation confirmed. And with those callouts, we can confirm Miko, stage sep, SCS-1, and fairing separation. And although we didn't have views of fairing separation from the second stage, we will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Go Beyond. And both of the fairing halves flying on today's mission are flight proven and are flying for their second time. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. And there you heard that stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories. And currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. And if successful, this will mark our 190th overall landing of an orbital class rocket. And the MVAC engine attached to the second stage is continuing its burn, which will last another several minutes.
on the left side of your screen, we have views of our first stage as it's making its way back to our landing site. And the right side has our MVAC engine on the second stage, which is performing nominally. And as you can see, we have two out of Falcon's four grid fins in view on the left side of your screen. And they measure four feet by five feet and help guide our booster back to our landing site by actively changing the vehicle's center of pressure. And as a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high speed, low latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations all around the globe. And the next major milestone we have coming up is the beginning of our entry burn on our first stage, which is scheduled to occur around T plus six minutes and 40 seconds. You also may be noticing white puffs of gas from the bottom of our first stage, which is nitrogen from our attitude control system, which also helps us control the vehicle's descent. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. And again, we're waiting for the beginning of our stage one entry burn around 10 seconds from now. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's the call out for stage one entry burn. And stage one, which we also call the booster, has ignited engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric re entry. And this will be a short burn lasting another 10 seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. And you just heard the call out that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. And the first stage used to launch our 51 Starlink satellites into space today is flying for its third time, having supported the Space Development Agency's Trans Zero mission and stage one Starlink. Stage one FTS has saved. And one Starlink mission previously. And coming up next, we will have the start of our landing burn, second engine cutoff, and the landing of our first stage booster. Stage two FTS has saved. Stage one transonic. And you just heard the call out that the first stage is now transonic, meaning it is traveling nearly the speed of sound. And second engine cutoff and the first stage landing attempt will happen in quick succession, so keep your eye out. Stage two terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. And there's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for landing on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is coming into view. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And back shut down. And we have a nominal orbit insertion. 
and Falcon 9 has successfully landed on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. And this marks our 190th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And if you heard those callouts, we also had a successful SECO and nominal orbital insertion. With confirmation of successful first stage landing and good orbit from our second stage, that will wrap up our coverage for today's Starlink launch. Be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink deployment. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you soon.